sharing is caring. And there's no one that cares about you. The sound effect wasn't supposed to go there. I was supposed to finish the sentence first. There's no one that cares about you more than I do, baby. So I wanted to share with you this beautiful movie I watched, okay? This moved me to tears. In fact, most critics loved this movie. They loved it so much. They particularly enjoyed the horrifying half-finished visuals and the sex predator corporate mascot ensemble. <laughs> Now, others really liked that this was an actual animation masterpiece that came out of an actual animation studio. You know, this didn't come out of somebody's computer lab. This was a one hour, 50 minute movie. So enticing and entertaining. I sat through it for a week, trying to make it to the finish line. <laughs> This was so hard to watch. <laughs> Today we're looking at Food Fight, voted the worst animation to ever exist. A little backstory about this movie, it was actually released in 2012, the year the world was supposed to end. The Mayans predicted something bad was gonna happen. It did, this movie happened. But you know what's really cool is the movie was supposed to be released a little earlier. The original release date of this movie was Christmas of 2011? No, 2010. 2009? No, 2003. Ten <laughs> a little 10 year delay. They were a little bit late. It had a little issue, okay? Somebody walked into the studio and stole the movie files. <laughs> they couldn't even release it on time. Somebody took the, somebody took the files. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm done. Oh my God, whoever took that hard drive was doing us all a solid favor. No, but like, they missed that release date for 2003, then they missed another planned release date. They kept missing the release dates up until 2012, okay? Then they were like, F just, just, just release this shit, please. They wanted nothing to do with it anymore, so they just gave it to us. Ooh. This creation, this masterpiece cost a whopping $65 million. So it's a budget movie, $65 million, and guess how much it brought in? Yep. A success. 75! 75, 75,000 dollars. Just a little deficit. Yeah, we're a little bit on the deficit side. <laughs> Such a huge budget on this. Yeah, the animation in this movie is literally, you know, like in those bowling alley screens when you get a strike. The, the bowling pins do the little dance. Yeah, that's, that's a 65 million dollar animation right there. It's actually because the movie's got some big names in it. Charlie Sheen from Two and a Half Men is in this movie. And Hilary Duff was also in this movie. But enough backstory. Hold my hand. You're gonna wanna hold my hand. This thing gave me nightmares. So our movie's set in a supermarket and it all starts at closing time. Nothing much happens around here after dark. Now we know that a lot does happen around here after dark. Yes, in fact, the supermarket becomes New York. The Empire State Building is in the supermarket. In fact, there's this completely pointless character, the Moose. I love this guy. And he's there to remind you that you are in New York with a very forced accent, and his job is to just blurt out, like, you know, basic New Yorker phrases. Stay away from the Brussels sprouts. And forget about it. I'm walking in. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. You know, he doesn't really... That's all he says. Just set the scene, you know? This is, you know, it's the finesse. But anyway, with like most movies with a basic understanding of a logical sequence of events, you know, they start off by introducing you to the characters. But this list of characters, she does not end. <laughs> it just keeps coming. I just said, who are these people? Do you need to know this guy? No. What about this guy? Completely irrelevant. This demonic elephant? Not really, no. Do you even know who you're looking at? Do you even know what you're looking at? No, you don't. And you know what? They didn't, they won't even explain it to you. So I'm gonna try and simplify this. Basically, all of these horrifying half-assed animated characters that you're looking at, okay, they're all product mascots because we are in a supermarket that came alive. So imagine Betty Crocker now walks. That's the concept, okay? But they, but they never told you that. You just figure it out on your own, I guess. We finally meet our hero, the suave Dexter, Dexter Dog Detective. But here's the thing, Dexter also regretted being in this movie. 
I regret being the $65 million crap fest. A self-aware king. Now, if you thought things were gonna make sense, sorry to disappoint you, but they won't. Because right at the start, we're trying to cash in some coupons. Or before I cash in your coupons for you. And we get death threats. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> it's just another day in the life of Dexter Dog Detective. All right, the dog, Dex, is battling a mouse called Fat Cat. Listen up, Fat Cat Burglar. He single-handedly beats his piglet sidekicks by offering them cheese. Hey. Whatever they are. Before he does that, like most dogs would, he's got to enjoy his favorite dog treat. If I had a raisin for every time I've heard that one. Raisins. Raisins. Pigs and cheese, okay. The mouse called Fat Cat, it's fine. Raisins? Bye, I'm out. Y'all lot, you, I'm out. In fact, he's out too. I don't know what he's out doing. Man's dipped. Come back. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Super dog. Dex is a super dog. He is loved by all. What's your secret, darling? And his secret is inside. The secret's inside. Like, where? Where? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody left. Honestly, I would leave too. But Dexter then reveals an actual secret to his sidekick, Daredevil Dan. The real secret is I am scared out of my mind. Apparently, he loves raisins so much because he's in love with Sunshine, a raisin product mascot. You want some? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he plans on proposing to her on that night. Who is this beauty? Where is she? Show her to us. Oh, there she is. That's, that's her. Hoarding the ball. Keeping the ball all to herself. It's because there's too much animation work to actually, you know, pass the ball around. Then the one time she passed the ball over, she gave it to us. But the creep in the back ended up getting it somehow. I don't know how that physics worked, but it, it worked in their heads. Anyway, everything gets in the way of them proposing. Moose makes an appearance. Forget, Forget about, about it. it. For no reason. He's just putting food on the table. Ice cream, my f Forget about, about it. Just reminder, hey guys, don't forget, we're in New York, okay? <laughs> you wanna lick? A bunch of distractions happen. Completely unimportant. Not even gonna get into it. <laughs> he ends up postponing the proposal. Where is she? Come on, man, you know Sunshine? It ain't like it's the last time you're ever gonna see Sunshine again. Well, that's a little awkward. It was the last time. Yeah, Miss Ma'am has disappeared. Completely gone. Miss Ma'am is gone with no explanation whatsoever. Instead, what we get is yeeted six months into the future. Wh what? Six months. Straight up, literally, they just skipped six months later into it. They just didn't want to go through the hassle of having to animate drama, okay? They can only do horror, so. Six months in, Dexter Dog Detective has failed to find his boo-boo Sunshine. But dude, it's been six months. Sunshine's gone, bro. We gotta accept it. And he's a little sad about it, you know? So you're gonna have to take my word for it, though, because you're not gonna see it in his face. I can't. It kind of seems like he's moved on. I mean, it's been six months. Sunshine. Sunshine. But Sunshine's disappearance has to do with this guy. All right. May I help you? You must be. God. I think the entire studio took turns animating this thing, this rag doll, and now it's completely out of control. You know, somebody did the legs, then they passed it over. Somebody else did the arms. I feel like this. This, <laughs> this is what happened to this guy. I don't know. He's kind of cute, actually. So Mr. Clipback is here to drop off a shipment of Brand X products, okay? These are evil, addictive products that are new to the supermarket. And when there's something new to the supermarket, there's new product mascots in New York City. And the unlikable characters here, they were supposed to be the Brand X product mascots. Okay, but personally, I found Daredevil Dan to be absolutely unbearable. The sidekick, the hero's sidekick. Mans has something 
dirty to say every five minutes. Are those melons real? And she likes chocolate. And she's got a real sweet tooth for chocolate. You like chocolate? Yo, baby, <laughs> who's your sugar daddy? It will melt in your mouth. Come on, baby, dance your man. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. I never even got a chance to play lick the icing with sweet cake. You like chocolate? Lady X thinks my fine flavor and also sweet bun. Oh. That's the chocolate mascot, okay? This guy flirts with everything, anything that moves in this movie. And for some reason, they found it appropriate to make all the women in this movie human. And they've all got that sexy hourglass figure, you know? How about some chocolate frosting? Chocolate fro- Get a shelf life. Get a shelf life. <laughs> Get a shelf life. But back to the story. Dex Doc Detective is a suave bachelor. Okay, he's not gonna sit here and cry about sunshine all day. No. Okay, he has his own club. And it's time to party. So he puts out a red carpet for himself. NPCs lined up, cheering for him, clapping for him, waving at him. Okay. Well, he started waving back a little too late. He he started waving back when he was inside. He was just waving it pretty, you know. Everybody got over him at this point. Everyone was at the party. But this party is one of the most important parts of the movie because this is the part where we get introduced to Lady X, or shall I say, Lady. She makes an entrance, and guess what, baby? She's got green eyes. Very green. They're so, so green. They're so green. Did you notice them yet? Did you? No, but like, did you actually... Did, did they get a look at the eyes? Did you see the eyes, or...? No? They gave you a minute to, to really, you know, take in the eyes. You know what they say, it's all in the eyes, right? And the beautiful, seductive red dress, and hourglass figure. I don't know what the studio was thinking making this woman. Like, I don't know what, who, who they were making this woman for. Did they, did they have the kids in mind when they made her? Or whoever animated her really got carried away. They, they had too much fun making this character. But for some reason, Captain Pirate Guy, man's got beef with this lady. Hold your anchor! She just walked in. We don't, nobody even knows who the fuck she is. There be something dirty about this dick. He's got beef, he starts a fight. Yeah. It becomes a food fight. Food fight! And I think that's where the movie got its name. <laughs> it's a completely detached, outlandish scene. Came from absolutely nowhere. Don't know why, Captain Pirate Man just pulls something out of his ass and starts a fight. But it was immediately wrapped up, okay? It finished up real quick. The second Dex Detective said it should. Party's over. Enough. Time to banana split out of my club. Everybody gone. What about me? You hanging me out to dry? What can I say? Chicks dig chocolate. Daredevil Dan is gonna go melt some chocolate in her mouth. That's so cute. She did love chocolate. Maybe a little too much because Daredevil Dan's gone. Missing. He's in her mouth. So it's important at this point to point out that Lady X is actually a Brand X mascot. In case you didn't connect the dots because I didn't when I watched this. And Dexter Detective only starts to look into this Brand X dilemma when his heartthrob bestie goes missing after going home with Lady X. Maybe I can help you. Get a clean start on a new relationship. So what happened to Dan? The aisles aren't safe tonight for a helpless lady. Like me. Dan would never do anything like this. Oh, so remember Sunshine? The woman I was gonna marry six months ago? She's missing? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be sad about it for six months, but... Daredevil baby boy Danny? No, that's where we draw the line. That's where we draw the line. Now we get involved. Mans breaks into X Tower and he begins to tango. My friend better be alive. With none other than Daredevil Dan's mistress, Lady XXX. 
Yep, they break everything in sight, completely devastate the whole property. But the studio got really lazy and actually keeping the mess and animating the entire mess they make. That's not the point. Stop looking, stop paying attention to details. It's a budget film, it's only $65 million. <laughs> Baby knocks him out. Knocks him out completely, Mans wakes up, and he's with heartthrob, heartbreaker, womanizer, daredevil, Danny boy. They're trapped. Hot, hot, go to fry, Stay go calm. To crisp. It was a trap, but they escape in two seconds, because like, who the fuck has the time? Let's get this story going. Socks always escape from the dryer. Follow that sock. <laughs> Ouch. Meanwhile, Okay, while we're escaping in two seconds. These Brand X mascots, they are everywhere now. Why? Because Brand X products, they have these addictive ingredients, and so people keep buying them, and now they're everywhere. And they're terrorizing the city. Oh, I could just kill you. They're terrorizing, they're literally brutally oppressing and murdering everyone. I mean, we simply don't. It's a cute family-friendly movie for babies. Now Brand X is growing so strong, okay? There's little Brand X armies marching in the streets of New York City doing the Camp Rock dance. Camp Rock! They're marching with purpose. Dog Tactive is a smart man, okay? He realizes at this point, dude, we gotta like, fucking do something. We won't survive another night against Brand X. It's our only shot. It's been like, what, my wife is gone, my best friend was gone, half the population f***ing <laughs> murdered. So, Doc Detective, he's like, we gotta go to the supermarket head office, because we have to force the removal of these Brand X products from the shelves. But in order to do that, they're gonna have to walk into the real world. They're gonna have to step out of the city, step out of New York. Do you know where you are when you walk out of New York? New Jersey? No. The supermarket. You're in the supermarket. And so they seem to have walked out into this so side on a pandemic that? shopping spree. I don't know what's happening nice. here. This is Black Friday. But this point, this is the point where my favorite character, personally, this is the part where my favorite pops up, okay? To be fair, she's got relatively little screen time, maybe too little for my personal preferences. It was this, this being, this human mom. No, Larry, I am not. Human? I don't know, but she's got a human baby. <laughs> that was the, definitely, that was the highlight of this entire movie for me. Honestly, this entire thing is just horror. Just horror after horror. I don't even, I didn't even talk about this bitch. And I don't think I will. I don't, I don't plan on doing it. I'm just gonna show you that this was unironically created. I think they meant for it to be funny. <laughs> not funny. It's traumatizing is more like what it is. But no matter. Dex Dog Detective is here to save the day. Pulls up on top of a levitating soda bottle to save his daredevil damn sidekick and they yeet off into the sky. Soda bottle's got a whole shit ton of horsepower. Shit's been in the air for hours. Hours. They went all the way up to the Arctic and back. Recreated the entire Aladdin a whole new world scene before the gas on that thing ran out and they landed in the office And it's the end of the gas in the soda bottle. We're in the office This vampire product mascot guy shows up and starts hitting on none other than heartthrob, heartbreaker, womanizer, and now manizer Chocolate? Are you chocolate? Are you... Daredevil Danny. That is so sweet. Hi! Oh! Lad Chakul, chocolate vampire, used to have cards. <laughs> Do you work out? I use the thigh master. Uh, yeah, f <laughs> yeah. Do you go out much, by the way? Because I like to dance a little myself. I dance a bit. Hey, 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 back off! I can't fucking resist this dude, can you? So, why are we here? Oh, the computer. We're using it only to find out what we already know. We lost all of these people, all of these friends, including Sunshine, because they were recalled by Brand X. So what are we gonna do? Are we gonna like click a button and end this thing and just uh. fucking wrap up the movie? We're gonna get corporate to recall Brand X. No, we're gonna wage a war. So what do we do now? Fight. We're gonna wage a war. A war must be waged in Supermarket City to get rid of Brand X. And the war began. 
with a dance battle. Brand X, Brand X. Brand X, the Brand X soldiers played their piece. It's simple and plain. Dex, Dex was ready. Play it. What boss? I said, play it. Fans responded with his own war song. The French national anthem. And with that, it finally ends the dance battle because the resistance and the revolution begins. They had so many chances to like actually wrap up this movie, but they just kept it going. And speaking of a stretch though, Dex begins to hype up the crowd. We've all lost someone, a friend, a neighbor, someone we love with a speech. But we can't fight for the way things were. This speech just kept going only for the way things should be. And going together we can stop this tyrant. I went, I took a shit, I came back. And that, my friends, is one-stop shopping. The speech was still going. This is it. We stop Brand X here tonight, then another, till they spread like mold around the world. And ourselves, and pe Remember- How is this a hype speech? Surprisingly though, the, the speech wasn't even the worst part of Dex's leadership in this war. Because the war starts with an ambush that gave the enemy about half an hour to walk out of because of delays. Food! Dexter's delays. Wait. Marshmallows. Imagine you planned this meticulous attack, okay? And then you're like, we actually... Can you like check if there's marshmallows in the chocolate? Wait, I'm sorry. Can y'all like stay still for five minutes? We're just gonna double check something. I'm sorry, this is not my fault. This is, you know, we were doing this so fast. Is there marshmallows in the chocolate? What kind of an ambush is this? It's a family movie. It's not supposed to be perfect, right? Well, the war went full on, and boy, the cost of this war was very heavy. Maybe a little too heavy for a very happy family movie. I felt like I was watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two for a second. <laughs> Swear to God, people dropping dead left and right. Anyway, this war, honestly, it went on so long, I completely disconnected, okay? I think I watched this on day six, and I just stopped paying attention at this point. I really struggled. I really struggled to focus. Struggled to get back on track on what we were doing. I honestly just completely disassociated. And you know that's a really shitty movie when I, I felt drained. It literally drained me. But anyway, when, when I regained consciousness and I looked at the screen, I, I found Dex and Sunshine together atop of Brand X Tower. Wasn't that bitch like gone six months ago? What matters right now is they're captured, but not for long because with his favorite dog treat. Raisins, Dex! Raisins. He defeats the enemy and he saves his baby. <laughs> you now what's funny is the entire list of characters they, they started the movie with they're all gone, obliterated, deceased. They're in the ground, six feet deep. But not this one, not Sunshine. The one who went missing in the start, the one we literally didn't give a shit about for the entire movie. She's okay. We're together. Thought you would like to know. Sunshine reappears and Lady X disappears. And that was the end of the Sunshine disappearance mystery because the movie's still going because apparently all that's left is Mr. Clipboard. This, the human? What's happening? I understand! Yeah, that's ambitious. Well, Dex is so suave. He's so, his ego grew so big, and all these NPCs were clapping for him. I've got a bone to pick with this guy. I'm, I can do this. What a suave baby. No, Dex! You can't! Not a human! Don't worry about me. You'll be crushed! I'll be fine. Don't worry about me, baby. Have to be to make sure nothing bad ever happens to you. Maybe go. He beats him. He beats him just when you thought the movie can end. Now is a good time. Let's let's wrap it up. Mr. Clipboard was never human. This is a shocking revelation. 
The robot is controlled by Lady X? Shit. Well, she reveals another shocking revelation shortly after. Announces she's getting a Brazilian butt lift. Quick trip to Brazil for a little plastic surgery. Okay. It's a little oversharing. Really didn't need to know that. Which literally didn't even ask. But then she wants to, like, beat up Dex. But enough about me. Let's kill you! She's like, hey, I'm gonna get a fucking Brazilian butt lift, and I'm gonna beat you up. With what, your ass? No. What's your ass? Forget about it. Boss will never, ever hit a dang. Forget about it. And Sunshine hears this. She gets really triggered. She's like, bitch, what did you say? What did you say to my man? I will. The bimbo's mine. Let's go. Merciless. Merciless. She goes off on her. And it's like, I'm just watching this. I'm like... They all just beat each other up, just happily ever after. The end. I'm just kidding. No, it's not the f***ing end. Sit down, because Lady X just turned ugly for no reason. Lady X was beat up so bad, they, they literally punched the pretty out of her. Slapped her back to ugly! Gross! Please, no more side stories. Just wrap it up. Please, just end the story here, please. Well, anyway, we find out that all this thing ever wanted was Dex Doug Tective, the suave daddy. All I ever really wanted was you! That's all they all want. They just want suave babe Dex Doug Tective. Guess what? He didn't give a spam. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a spam. The end. God. Oh, finally. Y'all are brave. Y'all are brave for putting your names, putting your names out there, tying your names to this project. That's... <laughs> uh, I'm so dead. I'm done. I. This was so draining. This movie was exhausting. That was literally the hardest thing I'd ever had to sit through in my life. It made no sense. You know what the hardest part was? Sitting after the movie and trying to make sense of it. That was the hardest part. The hardest part was just looking through all the distractions to understand what the plot was trying to be. And then at the end, it was just stretching. It was just stretching. I did my best to like make this watchable for you, but you just don't give a spam, do you? Well, I don't give a fudge. So cringy how they kept like trying to like, the, like they put profanity in there, but they masked it in a way where it's like, oh, it's a family movie. <laughs> So creepy. What a creepy, creepy movie. Um, that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you... It's a, little, it's a little dramatic. No, but I hope you realize how much pain this was for me. Drop a thumbs up. <laughs> it's trying to gaslight you. Gaslight? Guilt trip. Guilt trip was the word. I'm not good at gaslighting. But I am good at guilt tripping. Or maybe just because you actually like this video, you can also do that because you can also drop a thumbs up because you like the video. And you maybe want more uh, movie reviews. I do enjoy making them. I'm feeling for the families that were part of that $75,000 income this movie got. I'm feeling for them. Just imagine those families in that theater watching this for the first time. Like, they walked into it unironically. These people were like, Oh, hey, kids, wanna go watch a movie tonight? Yeah, Daddy, please, let's, yeah. There's a new one here. It's Food Fight. Seems to be fun. Let's go check it out. Brings the kids in. This must have been something. Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave you to your thoughts. Actually, I don't wanna leave you to you. Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's have a nice, robust conversation on this. What do you think? Without us, bitch, you guys, I'm going out. Bye.